water. It must be tasty. That's where we came from. And there's puddles like this all the way. I don't think you'll be able to see here. But these are deep enough that, yeah, I got them all muddy now. They're so deep that they come right over the floorboards of the, or are you getting some idea there? Uh, right over the floorboards of the four wheeler. So it's belly deep on the dogs. So that would be pretty near knee deep for me. And the whole area like this, it's just everywhere. These are, are the uh, snowmobile trails. They're a lot easier to travel when they're frozen. But we're just completely surrounded by swamp here. And the biggest concern is that uh, if the floorboards run up on anything like a log or whatever underneath, the skid plates will lift the wheels off the ground and of course there'll be no traction and we're stuck. And this would not be a place really to get stuck. I mean, I could get out, I'm sure, but uh, it'd be, wouldn't be much fun. Um, my thought was to go that direction, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty wet. Not to mention an idiot going through there like, come on, man, you're splashing the hell out of me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we're not going that way. So we're going to head back sort of towards civilization a little bit, which is that way, which doesn't really look any better, but at least we're not heading further out into the mess. This little machine is, is really good. It's, it's, uh, it's not very fast. I think the top speed on it would be, I don't know, well, downhill with a tailwind, it might hit 30 miles an hour. It's not fast. It's just a 400cc single cylinder carbureted but it's bomb proof. You know, there's no electronics particularly to go wrong with it. It never fails. It's and it's like a little tractor. It just digs and goes. You've got low and high range, um, two and four wheel drive and differential lock. And when you got it in four wheel drive, low range with the differential lock, which is what it's in right now, it's uh, it's pretty tough to stop. Oh, dogs are gone. Well, this is as good a spot as any to take a break. Let them have a bit of a run. I can hear them over there, somewhere in there. Well, we'll just sit it out for a few minutes. Enjoy a bit of sunlight. It's a cold wind, though. <laughs> what do you want? Go on, off you go. Actually, we're in the same spot as a moment ago. And I'm sitting here. And as I look over, I'm see, come on, Timber, knock it off. I see that there's a lot of Labrador tea greening up here. You get me wet up. Come on, get. So, yeah, we got lots of Labrador tea coming up here. Oh, there's a lot of Labrador tea here. Look at this. Get away from me. All through there, all along here. That idiot's splashing me, and I'm getting soaked here. This is a land of spruce and willow, alder, quite a bit of poplar and aspen, but mostly it's just spruce and peat bogs or sphagnum moss bogs. And now it's early in the spring. This will dry up somewhat, but it's never dry. You're crazy, you know that? You are. Let's see if we can get through. We have to watch out for that stump there. I don't want to dent up my skid plate. So, we are in neutral to start. We're in four-wheel drive from two-wheel drive. We have the differential lock in the locked position. Get her started. And we'll shift into low range. Cross our finger. Oh, we better reverse back around that stump a bit first. All right. 
I may have to stop the camera and use two hands here. We'll see how it goes. It's rough stuff. As I'm sure you can tell. I'll give you the best shot I can here. See if we can get around some of this worse stuff. Okay, folks, I'm, I'm going to have to use two hands here for a few minutes. This is, this is rough. That's hard on there. There's no power steering here, so that's pretty hard on the wrist to hold that with one hand. We'll try again, see how it goes. heavy-duty tow strap and of course we have the winch but uh, rather not have to get out and muck around with that Let's see how it goes oh boy here we go we're getting right near the end and we get one of the deep ones I don't know if there's, yeah, there's no way around that. You can see here we are, like I uh, started to say back there, I don't know if I finished, but we're at the, uh, somewhere around the 20th or so of April. And, uh, or May, I mean. April, I wish. Uh, May, 20th of May. And there's still, still quite a few spots in the bush where there's patches of snow. Yeah, more snow in there. It takes quite a while. It's very shadowed. You can see the amount of moss that's in there. This whole area is just, actually the whole half of the country is just coated with inches of this sphagnum moss. You can see the trails through here, right through there. Let's see if I can get it up a little bit. Hopefully, I'll try and keep it in the center of the screen for anybody who's not used to, oh, see right in front of that little tree right in front of us there, it forks a little bit between the two trees and then off to the left a bit. But there's rabbit trails all through here. But there's foxes and coyotes and lynx and a bit narrow for a wolf, but it's possible. What I was going to show you here, we just came through here and there's uh, under the ice or under the water a couple of inches. Now that puddle is actually almost knee deep, but there's all ice under there, as you can see. And that makes for, uh, well, not good traction, of course. So. These, these puddles here are tough to get through at this time of year. And that ice is breaking up, but you can still get stuck for now. I probably, uh, I probably should have saved this trip for another week or 10 days, but I'm itching to get out. main snowmobile trail here. This is what it looks like off-season. 
nice and smooth when the snow's packed down by that big grooming machine, but just part of the swamp when it's not. All right, not much to show you here. Looks like rain, maybe. That's what we need. More water.